in, in terms of uh, your ex-wife, Toya, because you yeah. speak very highly of her. It's, oh, it yeah, does seem right. like yeah. you, you feel a way, and I can understand it, that um you weren't allowed to go on Love & Hip Hop. But overall, just listening to the the tone in your voice and, and how you were in things, yeah. uh, you still have a lot of respect for that woman. Oh, yeah. I, I noticed she has recently either gotten engaged or um, I don't know if she's married. Oh, she, she married. She married, got a kid, all that, which I'm um, blessings to her too. Like it had to happen. It had to happen. Like, you know, she just okay, so do, do you feel like she's the one that got away or, or do you think even now you made the right decision in letting that relationship kind of crumble? Um, she's definitely the one that got away, but I made a decision so bad right before I met her that it was coming into the marriage. I didn't, I didn't realize it was coming, but when it came, I was like, how could it not come? It's coming. Like I got this ex, I got, she knew it was coming. I was like, I got this ex relationship. I'm like, I'm, she, she coming, she's coming. Like she is coming. She, she, she already threatened. She already had a, a, a accused me of cheating on you, cheating on her with you. When I was, she was catch me watching Tiny and Toya by myself. She's like, what's a grown man doing watching Tiny and Toya by himself? Like, I was like, I'm just looking, you know. So she was already, it was already a thing there. So to get actually marry you, yeah, she coming. It was so, you know, whatever. One time, I, <laughs> yeah, one time I was in the house. Me and we was in the house, and I heard a brick hit the window. And Toya sleep, and I get out the window, and I'm like, I'm I'm looking at K Michelle run across the street and jump in the car. She had just bricked my house and jumps in the car with her friends, and I didn't even tell. Get out of here! You're like, what? Well, you're like, what was that sound? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> just like it's outside throwing stuff. So I'm hit the, but I saw her. Like it was like it was so funny, bro. I, it was really a funny time, but it was like it, it was it wasn't good for me. It wasn't good for me, but I had funny nah, moments. It, you know, I, 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 I saw it was you. like thin line between love and hate. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually saw you on an episode of um, Ayanga. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Life. Um, yo, and you really look like you was in some pain. Yeah, oh. just stuff from my from from my family, from stuff from my past with my dad, the way my dad was killed. This is like my story is just weird and crazy, but I know it's all for the good. It's all all these war wounds got to be adding up for something right now, you know. So that's what I look at it like, you know, you know. So coming from my dad being murdered by by a KKK member that was an informant, chopped up, burned, never getting, never. We don't have a funeral for my oh, dad. Oh, hold 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 on, so, so, slow down. I, your your dad. I knew he was murdered. I didn't know mm -hmm. how. Yeah, he was, a, he was a zoning zoning officer, and he walked in on a gun deal, I guess, going bad. And he was just coming there to, to serve papers for a zoning situation, and he did they didn't let him leave. And it came out that uh, we could never we couldn't find the body, and that's when we found out that it was because he was dismembered and uh, burned. So, uh, so I mean, that guy, you know, he's in prison for you know prison for the rest of his life, but. My mom is uh, fixing up the properties that he used to live in because we were awarded all this property. So my mom is like, you know, mom is remarried, of course, but now she's like fixing up the property and it's about, this, you know, it's Airbnbs now. It's like a whole little family business we have going on where we rent out the the houses, we redid them and everything. So, so yeah. So coming from Memphis, that was the fire I came to New York with. That, that happened to me before I moved to New York. So I'm coming to New York at 20 years old and all that fire and all those things I did and I couldn't. It was, it, I was being driven by that, but to be able to slow down and then here comes the divorce, here comes the, here comes the, um, the scandal, here comes all these things and all the success. And I just like, I'm like, whoa, I'm like, I don't even have the energy for all that no more. I'm like, now you're sitting here talking to Mickey Wright again. Like, you know, I'm still, I'm still Memphis hits, but I know how to take the Memphis hits jacket off. At first I never knew how to take the Memphis hits jacket off and be Mickey Wright sometimes. And it's like, now I can... I can take the Memphis Hits jacket off when it's time for him. I'll I'll zip it on and be Memphis Hits for everybody and this lively A and R character that's that's on TV and do these things and I can do that. But then I have to be Mickey Wright, this a dad now and a family man and you know like and I got bigger dreams. I got bigger things on my mind these days. And I, and I can look at my war wounds and say those were decisions. Those are the those are the war wounds of decisions that I made as a as a as a young guy. You know, and it's yeah, cool. I mean it ain't cool, but it's cool. I get it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.